بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أهل السنة أهل السنة والجماعة are those who tamasik bi kitabillah wa sunnat rasul sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam ahl sunna stays adherent to the principles the principles that come from the quran and come from the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam so that when fitna comes when fitna arises, Ahl Sunnah is always in a state of preparation. And the reason being is that Ahl Sunnah has a consistent minhaj, a consistent methodology, a consistent set of principles, a consistent aqidah and creed and way of dealing with fitan and a way of dealing with trials and tribulations Ahl Sunnah are prepared for that that when times of struggle and trial and tribulation comes Ahl Sunnah goes back to the Quran and the Sunnah the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to deal with those problems Ahl Sunnah returns to that and makes the correct istanbat min adilla that they derive from the evidences of the Quran and the Sunnah and the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah and they make proper application of those principles whereas you find consistently that Ahla Bid'ah and Ahla Zandaka and Ahla Kufr wa Ilhad and the various groups and sects that when a trial befalls them or a trial befalls the Ummah that they are inconsistent some of them become more extreme some of them become too soft and begin to throw away the principles of Ahl Sunnati Wal Jama'ah for example the recent fitna in the UK with some allegedly new Muslim who carried out the heinous crime of killing another human being under the guise of some sort of Islamic uh, blatantly using the religion of Islam and misusing the principles of Islam and in fact slandering and lying on Islam to justify the evil of his actions what do you find as a result you find Ahl Sunnah quickly denouncing terror and quickly denouncing realizing that regardless of whether it's something that really happened or whether it was uh, or whether it was something that was staged the end result is that Ahl Sunnah will suffer and the Muslims in general will suffer so that's why it's imperative for Ahl Sunnah to always take a strong stance based on Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi wa ala Alihi Wasallam not based on their desires not based on running to the right or running to the left but rather going back to the book and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam looking to how the ulama, especially the major scholars, how do they, what do they issue as verdicts regarding these type of trials and tribulations that befall the Ummah? When Syria happened, what did the ulama of Ahl Sunnah say? When this recent fitna that happened in the UK and America, what did the ulama of Ahl Sunnah say? They denounce terrorism. They don't look to see, oh, is it a hoax? Oh, the, the, the video looked like this in one video and another video it looked like this. But rather, Ahl Sunnah 
they go back to the ulama and they quickly realize that regardless of whatever the outcome, that the outcome, the full outcome, will be uh, the Muslims will be implicated. And the Muslim community will suffer. And the mus Muslim community will be regarded as either too complacent or being terrorist. And that's why Ahl Sunnah always comes back to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and as Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala said which is part of the minhaj or methodology of Ahl Sunnah Allah Tabarak Wa Ta'ala says Fi Kitabi Al-Kareem Fas'al Ahli Dhikri In Kuntum Ta'lamun Ask the people of knowledge if you don't know instead of issuing a statement, issuing a verdict every time there's a crisis and thinking that you know best go back to the ulama go back to the scholars the ones who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered us to follow Ahl sunnah uses goes back to the text and to the qaida that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa, wa ala alihi wa sallam placed for us this very imperative important principle the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said whenever there's fitna and trial and tribulations alaykum alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnata khulafa rashidin al mahdin the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said it is upon you my sunnah meaning my way my madhhab my methodology ittiba rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the sunnah and way of the rightly guided khulafa rashidin al mahdin that's the madhhab of ahl sunnati wal jamaa that's how Ahl Sunni, Ahl Sunni deals with crisis, is they go back to the book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam and they look for their answers there. And they don't change their minhaj and go to the left or go to the right this day, but rather they make be based upon ikhlas with the bat. They're firm. Firm upon what? On the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ikhlas in what? Sincerity to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be from Ahl Sunnah. And may Allah Tabarak Wa Ta'ala forgive us of our sins. Wa Sallallahu Wa Sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.